Students at Westland High School walked out of class today to protest what they're calling LGBTQ bullying. We choose love! We choose love! We choose love! The walkout, as you can see, was supported by many parents and also the mayor. I'm Susie Walters. I use she, her pronouns, and I'm 18 years old. Uh, I had not expected it to go downhill as fast as it had. I had not expected, you know, everything to happen in the way that it did. There was this large culture of homophobia and transphobia in the student body. It was that thing where I've been called slurs my entire time at high school, uh, but it started in classrooms where people weren't afraid anymore. They knew they weren't going to get in trouble for it because the teachers weren't going to call them out for it. It was very frightening. It was very scary to go to school every day. So I don't think a seat like a normal senior year was ever really in the books for me because when I had been elected president of GSA, I would have you know, kids that were 14, like my kids, they would come to me and they'd be like, hey, this happened to me I was called a slur today. Someone threw rocks at me on my way into school. And I was like, what? And they're like, yeah, but it's fine, you know, just being gay. I was like, that's not, <laughs> you know, that's not normal. You know, no teenager is responsible for the way the world treats them. When the world tells you that there's something wrong with you, how do you believe in yourself, right? How do you grow up and believe that you're worth loving, that you deserve to be treated well. My job, my role, is to, you know, is to, is, is to protect all kids, but I feel a very, very strong sense is my job is to, to protect trans students. And I will do that with all my heart. Because they shouldn't feel targeted and they shouldn't feel like that it's too much. We actually experienced a hate crime. Someone vandalized my friend's car and they wrote v vulgar images on it, really graphic images, and then uh, wrote queer on their window shield. Um, but I was really scared for my, my underclassmen because they're 14, you know, and they're coming into school for the first time They're high school. It's like, I've been doing this my whole life. I can deal with it. I'm 18. But these kids were 14, 15. I didn't know what to do for them. So that was like, that was part of the big ramping up was it was very stressful. But I was also thinking like, what am I going to do to make sure that these kids don't have to live through this for another four years? First contact with Basic Rights Oregon was a parent from our GSA reached out to them. Uh, Kieran called me and they were so awesome. They just guided me through the whole thing. They're like, let's have a in-person meeting. And I immediately was like, okay, we need to, uh, we need to figure out what's going on here. We need to try to support these students because it sounds like they're carrying a lot. To have someone come in that was an adult and worked, you know, for and with and by queer people and was like, this is horrible. I was like, it is horrible. Thank you so much. This type of experience is an experience that a lot of young folks in our community have uh, across Oregon, across the country. It's an experience I had as a young person and it's, and it's not fair. So I asked what the students were planning to do. How can I support you? What are the efforts that, that you have underway? And so the students let me know that they were planning a walkout. And so they asked for our support with getting media engaged and aware of what was happening, which we were you know, delighted to do. They asked for support around how to to manage the possible appearance of counter protesters. And they asked us to support them in trying to get the staff and faculty at Westland High School up to speed and able to support their LGBTQ students. So we sat down with um, Principal Newman and several other administrators and we, we pulled together a training for all the staff and faculty at Westland High School. And it was a big collaborative effort to really try to meet the needs of this uh, this particular school. The pronoun presentation, the pronoun presentation was mainly about teaching teachers how to interact with uh, gender non-conforming students, um, transitioning students, and also cis students. That training I would say felt extremely successful. We've gone on to work further with the district to try to uh, engage with the other schools in the school system because we know that this kind of bullying and targeted harassment doesn't start when, when people get to high school. This is the type of thing that is uh, born and bred in elementary and middle school and that there's, there's a lot of work to be done here. 
at Westland High School, the opportunity to work with uh, Basic Rights Oregon gave us a chance to do some really great training as a team and gave all of our staff a great perspective, a global perspective of what's happening not only within the walls of our high school, really help us kind of ground our work together so we're all um, in, in this fight together and we're supporting all kids. You need examples of what it looks like to thrive. To be able to see yourself in someone who is older, or someone who has been down the path that you're walking down, to see someone who has made it through the hard experiences. It's making those connections. If your kid comes out, you should find other queer people and connect them with. And it's really important to see yourself as an adult. Because a lot of the media that I take in is, well, it's, you know, queer people as teens, or I meet with other teens and they're queer. But it's so cool to see myself grown up, because I didn't see myself